do have some breaking news. Pension fund attacks AMC CEO and board members in a lawsuit. Allegheny County Employees Retirement System filed a lawsuit against AMC Entertainment claiming that the company and its several of its directors violated state law to inviscerate the voting power of common stockholders who had not supported issuing new shares. The retirement system is pursuing a class action complaint in Delaware's Court of Chancery against AMC and its board members, including CEO Adam Marin, seeking a temporary restraining order against a planned March 14th conversion vote. The pension fund asked the Delaware Chancery Court to declare the preferred shares invalid and ban the holders of its preferred shares from voting. This action challenges the course of a complex and disloyal corp corporate engineering by the defendants, described by AMC's Chief Executive Officer and Chairman Adam Marin, as an exercise of 3D chess devised to achieve a simple aim eviscerating the voting power of AMC Class A stockholders in order to force through approval of a proposed dilutive share count, increase that stockholders repeatedly had rebuffed and were not willing to support at the corporate ballot box, the complaint says. But I want to know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on this vote and what are your thoughts against these complaints? The company explored two main proposals. Number one, to convert shares of equity ape back into AMC shares, the common AMC stock that is. And number two, undergo a one to 10 reverse stock split. More than 82% of shareholders said that they are voting yes on all proposals on a, on a Twitter vote that I saw earlier today. But comment down below where you're at currently and let us know what you think. The short thesis is dead, the mood has changed, and there's now a positive outlook for the movie theater industry. Wall Street's short thesis relied heavily on the death of the movie theater. Bankruptcy would allow hedge funds to profit big from AMC's downfall without having to pay a single dime on taxes, hence why Wall Street's over leverage. However, this isn't the case anymore, not in 2023, three years after the lockdowns. In the past three years, AMC has managed to survive long enough to the point where it may break through and even thrive from here. What we saw during the lockdown is a lot of studios experimenting with different types of releasing things like straight to streaming platforms or simultaneously theaters and streaming platforms, but the reality is, is that the theaters are still alive and well. AMC Entertainment had a $579,000 of operating cash flow in 2019 and 60900 in free cash flow pre-lockdown. During the lockdowns, AMC won negative cash flow by quite a bit. And although the progress isn't done yet, AMC should be able to turn the corner soon here, we hope, and become positive cash flow once again from here on out.